Uh, good morning. This is uh, Stephen Young with uh, Young Wealth Academy. We have a very special caller today on the line with us. Uh, it's, it's Mr. Bob Proctor. He's uh, speaking at our next upcoming conference. We have been uh, having some good, great feedback about the event coming up, and uh, there's been some questions that have come up, and I, I think it's really important to get some feedback from one of the speakers at the event. Uh, Bob, are you there? I am, Stephen. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Great. So, Bob, what, one of the things that we're that's sort of the the main question that keeps coming up from people is, you know, they 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 know how to invest in in real estate or they know how to invest in the stock market. Uh, you know, they've read all the books about saving money, saving 10%, the golden rule, but they still have this uh, struggle. There's still something holding them back from reaching that sort of uh, the wealth distinction. And I think by that we mean, you know, you're not struggling day to day. You're not. Um, you know, your your life is you know worrying about money. You're, you're you're pursuing the goals that you want, and I think the challenge with most people is is that um, you know you can you can uh, speak about this more, but I think it goes back to sort of their mindset about it. And I think the biggest question is how do you make that shift from going from sort of your your struggles to going to uh, a wealth? Well. See, there, there's all kinds of people out there, Stephen. They're everywhere in every country that will show you how to invest money. That is not the trick. The trick is learning how to earn money. You see, there's three strategies for earning money. You trade your time for money. You invest money to earn money. Or you set up multiple sources of income. Most people have never really learned how to earn money. If they get a little ahead of their buddies or, you know, their peers, they think they're they're on their way. The truth is we've got infinite potential locked up within us. We've got genius locked up within us. Our spiritual DNA is perfect. It requires no modification. It requires no improvement. What we've got to do is understand that we're being controlled not by what we know, but by what we do. And the paradigm that we have is controlling our behavior. Do you know, if you ask the average person on the street what a paradigm is, well, they'd probably stare at you and wonder what you're talking about. If you ask the average individual that does go to seminars and read self-help books what a paradigm is, they would probably look at you and they'd come up with some kind of an answer, but there'd be a lot of, um, 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 they don't really understand it. Paradigms, our, our programs in our subconscious mind that control our behavior. That's why we have all kinds of brilliant people wandering the street that are broke. We can go right through our educational system and come out the other end and know absolutely nothing about earning money. School does not teach people how to earn money. The teachers themselves don't know how to earn money. In fact, I think we should be ashamed when we look at how we pay our teachers. You'll never attract great individuals to teaching as long as they're being paid what they're being paid. But we go through life not understanding how to earn money. And you were saying it's a mindset. It is a mindset. But the mind is set on a subconscious level, and it's been programmed in genetically and then environmentally. Now, when I work with someone and I show them how to change that, everything in their life changes. Do you know, one of the first things I'll ask a person if I'm going to work with them is what's the most they've ever earned in a year? And I don't do that to be nosy, and I don't do it to find out, you know, what kind of money they're earning. I find out where their paradigm is set. Because, you know, an individual, they say I'm earning 100 and a half or 175, 100, 100, 200, and they think they're doing well. And relative to the masses, that is doing pretty well. But relative to what they're capable of doing, it's not very well at all. Now, I maintain I can show anyone how to turn their annual income into a monthly income if they will follow direction. And if they follow that direction, they'll see it happen. I could take it in many, many people who have earned millions of dollars by doing exactly what I suggested. I started out in a fire hall here in, in uh, East York, a suburb of Toronto. Uh, I was earning $4,000 a year. And in a relatively short period of time, I was earning over a million. I had absolutely no idea what I had done. I had actually changed the paradigm. But it took me nine years to figure that out. And I was looking for the answer. So I've been teaching it all over the world for many, many years, 46 years now. 
I know I'm a, I'm a student of yours as well. I've followed you for many, many years. You're a great mentor of mine, uh, which is really the main reason why I wanted to bring your message to sort of the, the, my group of individuals, our clients that we coach as well here at Young Realty and Young Wealth Academy. Um, so, so part of the message, again, we, we'll talk about paradigms. We'll talk about how to switch it. And I think it's important to sort of relay the message that it's possible for anybody to do this. It's not just you have to be a certain person. It's not that you have to have a certain uh, background or, you know, uh, depending on where you live or like what economy you're in. It really is, you know, it, it, it's open to absolutely anybody, and it's easy to follow. So is there something that you could, uh, uh, you know, ask or, or, or tell us what you think we should be doing on a daily basis to sort of get to the goals that we want to get to, get to some well, of the Well, first the, the of all, you know, like you were mentioning, this will work for anyone, bar none. I, I mean, anyone at all. <clears throat> I've watched people from every walk of life change and change dramatically. You know, we've been raised to believe that if you're going to earn a lot of money, you've got to be really smart. Well, I was earning a lot of money, and I knew I wasn't very smart. There's people who are functionally illiterate that they can neither read nor write, and yet they're earning millions of dollars. So that has to go down in flames. That 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 is a myth. We're taught that if you don't go to school, you can't earn money. I went to grade 9. I went to Danforth Tech in Toronto for two months, and they asked me to leave. I was glad they asked me because I didn't like it anyway. So I had no formal education. So... You don't have to be very smart. You don't have to have the education. I'll tell you what you need. You need a sincere desire to accumulate a certain amount of wealth. And you don't have to be that smart. You know, Carnegie gave Hill the advice. He said, the accumulation of great wealth calls for power. And power is acquired through highly organized and intelligently directed specialized knowledge. But... He said that knowledge does not necessarily have to be in the possession of the person who accumulates the fortune. You see, what we've got to do, we've got to become sort of interdependent. We've got to get rid of this idea of competition and work more on cooperation. The old idea of competition is gone. I mean, that is a silly idea, and it's an amateur's way of, pro, of, of making it happen. I always say that amateurs compete, professionals create. Well, if you're going to create, you're going to need some help, and you want to get a – uh, um, together a mastermind group of people that can help you. You can help them, they can help you. And that's where the cooperation comes in. But earning a lot of money, it, it calls for one thing, a sincere desire to do it. And we've got to understand that money's only used for two things. One is to make you comfortable, and the other is to extend the good you do far beyond your own presence. I always say I always need more money because I'm expanding what I'm doing. I have a company now that operates in 94 countries. I want it bigger. It, if you're not growing, you're dying. If you're not going in one direction, you're going in another. You know, age has got nothing to do with this. I'll be 79 on my next birthday. i got more energy than most people, 29. I've been around the world twice in the last 10 days. So, you know, what what we're going to show people in this meeting that you're putting on is literally what they have to do. And then I'm going to show them how to do it. And it is so simple that anyone can follow the uh, follow the direction. And it's not a difficult thing to understand. Oh, absolutely. That, that's why it's, it's so important to get the message out there. Like, it's transformed my life. Literally, it has. And, you know, the, the challenge is it's, it's strange how, how much uh, – feedback we get of people saying, I already know this, I don't need to go, right? But they're still struggling, right? Like they're still working, they're still they're not pursuing what they want to be doing. Um, so it's, it's encouraging to see how many people have actually signed up for the course already because they believe in it, they understand it, they, but they also want to know how to do it. So it's, it's well, do you know, that, sorry, Stephen, if, if a person's having a little difficulty making a decision to do something like this, it's probably because they've been to all kinds of seminars, they've been to all kinds of courses, and yet they're still stuck. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. I had a, uh, a man that, that sat down with me when I first started, and he said, Bob, are you happy with the results you're getting? And I had to admit I wasn't. I wasn't as happy as I wanted to be. I wasn't as healthy, and I certainly wasn't as wealthy. I was in debt. Um, he said, why don't you try my way? I'm happy, healthy, wealthy. Why don't you try my way? If your way's not working, try mine. Now, you know, what, how long is the meeting? It's about three hours, something like that? 
Uh, well, your your session is going to be uh, three hours in the afternoon, and uh, you know if you can provide a question and answer period, that'd be fantastic. But we also be have happy amazing to. guest speakers. Yeah, we have amazing guest speakers in the morning. We have uh, uh, Richard Dolan of uh, he's the president of the Real Estate Investment Network in Canada, largest investment network in Canada. He's a tremendous speaker when it comes to wealth building. Uh, we have Diane Francis. She's uh, she's a writer for the Global Mail. She's wrote many many books, including uh, Who Owns Canada Now, one of my favorite books. Uh, and of course, David Chilton, the author of The Wealthy Barber, and he's sort of uh, he goes down to the basics. He's going to be teaching about the basics about wealth, and you know, there's still different aspects. Of, there's there's different tools and strategies on, on how to build wealth. One starts with education. The whole point of Young Wealth Academy was formed to create more wealth through education and opportunity. The opportunity is everybody's going to get to see you, who's you know, it's, it's very you know, it, it's a privilege for everybody who's going to be at the event and for myself as well that you're going to be there. Uh, the education component will come from the basics. It will come from sort of learning about what wealth basics is, wealth, wealth building from the ground up, right? Um, and I think it's really important. There's going to be people there who earn millions of dollars a year, but they're still struggling. You know, if you earn a million dollars a year, but you spend a million dollars a year, you're still not going to have any at the, at the end of the year. Uh, but it's important what you say as well. You know, if, if you can change your annual income to monthly income, it's, it's not because uh, you don't have the ability, it's just because you don't know how to do it. I think that's well, do you know what I have found, Steve? I have found, and, and, and I discovered this a long time ago, I have found that most people who are highly successful cannot articulate on why they are. They'll say, well, I do this and I do that, but you can read that in books. And, and yet they don't know why they're really making it happen. I went into, um, oh, years ago, into the Prudential of America in Chicago. I started to work with them. And... I worked all over the country with them. They did not know why their top people were top people. Some of the largest companies in the world cannot explain why their stars are stars. They will quickly admit that some of them aren't the smartest, and some of them are the smartest. So it's not that. There's another element that's not taught in school, it's not in corporate training programs, and that's what I'm going to bring out. And it's it's basic stuff. It's not going to give anybody a brain hernia. But I'll tell you one thing. Anybody that uses it is going to see a dramatic change in a relatively short period of time. When I was asking you about the time frame, you were saying I'm on for about three hours. Well, you know, in three hours, you can learn an awful lot of information if it's highly organized and intelligently directed. And that's what Carnegie said to do with it. And that's what I've done. For, for 51 years now, I have studied one subject. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, even if you're a little slow, Steve, after a while, <laughs> you're going to learn something about it. Been, yeah. But I want to congratulate you on doing what you're doing. I know months ago when you explained it to me, I thought it was a brilliant concept, and I can understand why you're pulling the people in, because you've got mm-hmm. something that's sound. It's a good idea. Absolutely, yeah. Well, it, the idea generated was from your, your actual Matrix program. If anybody's listening now and wants a, an extended program, uh, you know, the Matrix is one of the best programs I've ever done personally, and it's, it's a full week with Bob. Um, if anybody wants uh, more information, I think they can visit your website, I believe. Yep, yeah, just go yeah. to bobproctor.com. Okay. You want to drop um, in next week. We're starting a Matrix on Sunday, Steve, so drop in and say hello. Yeah, absolutely, I will. Uh, so I think that's all the questions I had for today uh, in terms of what the feedback was coming from some of the uh, people who've already purchased tickets. So I appreciate your time today, Bob. Um, you know, the event's in a couple of weeks. It's really important to get the tickets. They're selling fast. Uh, you know, we're limited in space, unfortunately. Obviously, I wish we'd have more people there, but uh, we're limited in space. So it's important to get the tickets quick. Um, so, so, Bob, if, if there's uh, nothing else, then uh, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate that. And we'll, see well, thank you, you Steve. Drop by the hotel. We're going to be in the Prince next week, so drop by and say hello, and I'll look forward okay. to being there. Thank-